now we're going to move on to the EMT connector. The connector here, this is a set screw connector. And I have three of them here in front of me on the table. All three of these are steel set screw connectors. They are in sizes from half inch up to four inch. So electrical metallic tubing, uh, the set screw connector works just like it says. This particular one um, has two screws. So depending upon the size of the tubing, it'll need additional connectors based on the size. These two have the same functions and uh, same specifications. So it has no, nothing on the inside, just simply a steel coating on the outside. Ones like this that have a feature called insulated throat. So comparing what an insulated throat is to a non-insulated throat, uh, it's just a piece of plastic on the inside, which prevents any chafing on the wire, uh, any of the insulation to be scratched or damaged. So it is a, something that's important to prevent uh, any unwanted troubleshooting later on on a job site. So it's something that we recommend. Um, so when you look at this here, uh, the physical characteristics are simply the only thing is that plastic on the inside. The next connector is the compression connector. As we talked about a lot of these fittings, we have a die cast compression connector as well as a steel. So a compression connector is used to go into a, uh, a box, into a trough, into a panel. So it comes with a lock nut. But as we talked about before with the couplings, this is used without taking it apart, sliding in the raceway and tightening it down with a channel lock. So it's a labor saving uh, method, but a compression uh, fitting is used because it has a tighter hold and it's good in a uh, dry location, this particular one here. This is a steel compression connector. Um, once again, all the fittings are from half inch up to four inch. This one here has an insulated throat. That's a feature we talked about before with the set screws. It is nice because it doesn't allow any damage to be done to the conductors when they're being pulled through the raceway. So it is an excellent feature to have. As we look in the other um, compression connectors, the one right here, this particular one, as I look at it, is it actually says right on it that it's rain tight. And you look closely, there is a lock nut and then there is a rubber gasket. That rubber gasket is going to keep water from getting into any of the boxes, making it uh, suitable for wet locations. So this is a compression connector, but it's suitable for a rain tight situation. Next one I have here, once again, it is a feature that is good for a rain tight. So it's a compression connector, suitable for rain tight. You see it has the lock nut and then the rubber gasket, but it also has the insulated throat. So you'll see that's a feature that's interchangeable, it can be taken out or used. It's recommended to be used to prevent any damage to the conductors. So this is a EMT compression connector for a wet uh, location, also known as a uh, watertight. So now that we've done that, the next fitting I'd like to show you is the EMT set screw connector. We'll take it and we'll add it to the end of this conduit. So I would simply slide it on the end and then I would use a screwdriver to tighten it in place. Once again, just living by its name, set screw. As I tighten it down, that screw is driving into the outside of that metal. And that is how you would install an EMT set screw connector. I'm gonna leave that on and I'm gonna show you how to install an EMT compression connector. Okay, the EMT compression connector, this one also has an insulated throat. So I just have to loosen it. I'm not taking it off and I would slide it on. Now that it's on, I would try and secure it by hand, holding it in place. And then I would grab my channel locks and I would tighten it. And you might need a second set of channel locks to make sure it's securely fastened. But for the purposes of this, you understand it, the EMT compression connector has to be securely tightened down with channel locks to secure the connection to make sure no moisture gets in and that it doesn't come loose due to vibration. For more information about Topaz products, please visit our website.